Fourth on the scale, ladies and gentlemen, of Samar, Russia, 30 and 1 with 15 KOs, Maxim Blasov weighing in. One hundred and seventy pounds, one seven zero, the official weight for the fighter of Samara, Russia, Maxim Blasov. Next on the scale, putting his undefeated record on the line, 30 and 0, 24, those victories by way of KO from Mazatlan, Mexico. This is Gilberto Zurdo Ramirez. Again, ladies and gentlemen, this bow is being presented in association with Safari Boxing. Along with Bob Aram's top rank incorporated, La Cerveza Tecate con Caracter. And it's our co-feature being broadcast worldwide on HBO Sports. 170 and one half pounds, 170.5. The official weight for La Nueva Sensación del Box Mexicano from Mazatlán, Mexico, Gilberto Ramirez. Ramirez Blasso, 10 rounds or less. Opening up our broadcast. Can we switch? Can we switch? Some towering light heavyweights go to war tomorrow night opening up the broadcast on HBO Sports. This is the co-feature 10 round light heavyweight division. Once again being brought to you by Bob Aram's Top Rank Incorporated. Sapari Boxing, La Cerveza de Cate con Caracter. And opening up the broadcast on HBO Sports. Maxim Blasso, Gilberto Zurdo Ramirez, our co-feature tomorrow night at the First Bank Center in nearby Broomfield, Colorado. <laughs> Maxine. Ladies and gentlemen, we welcome to the stage our main event of the evening. Fighting out of Oxnard, California. It is Bam Bam, Brendan Ringo. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, not only is this a showdown of two former world champions, but also a showdown of the two most rugged fighters in the sport. 12 rounds of WBO International Welterweight title. It is Alvarado Rios 3 tomorrow night. The venue is the First Bank Center. Again, if you don't have your tickets in hand quite yet, several tickets still available for one of the best nights of boxing. Ever to hit the Rocky Mountains, again, it is Alvarado Rios 3. First away, and ladies and gentlemen, this is former world champion fighting out of Oxnard, California, Bam Bam Brandon Rios on his way to the scale. Former world champion Brandon Rios weighing in. One hundred forty-six and three-quarter pounds. One four six and three-quarter. The official weight for former world champion Bam Bam Brandon Rios. Now to weigh in is Mr. Three O Three, fighting out of Denver, Colorado. Thirty-four and three twenty-three of a victory by way of KO. The former world champion, Mahai Mike Alvarado, on the scale. Alvarado weighing in. One hundred forty-six and one half pounds. One four six and one half. We have a fight, ladies and gentlemen. These two gentlemen have given us. Shirt, no shirt, no shirt, shirt, no 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 shirt, a guaranteed war tomorrow night via broadcast worldwide on HBO Sports.
Fight is gonna add up compared to how good the first two fights were. It's gonna add up the uh, thinking better because the first two fights was great, but I think this one's better. So we both know each other very well and we both have the same style. And we're both warriors. We got to go out there and leave everything out of the ring. We're friends right now, but in that ring we hate each other and we want to kill each other. So it's all good, man. It's all, at the end of the day, it's all love. Uh, you and Robert have talked all week about this being a must win fight for you. Uh, why do you feel that way? Because, you know, it's a must win fight because uh, the winner goes up, the loser goes down, that's uh, pretty much in the career. So, you know, we're here to stay and we want to make the best of it and we're ready, we're ready. Mike, same question to you. Your camp has also said the same thing. This is kind of do or die fight for you. Uh, why do you feel that way? It is. Uh, coming off losses, coming off, you know, a long career and, you know, at where we're at now, where we stand, and it's, it's, it's very crucial to, to our career. So, um, you know, the winner will will advance and, and go on to bigger and better fights. The loser, who knows what happens, whatever they decide to do. We'll see what happens. We're just going to put on a great show. Regardless, at the end of the day, it's going to be a great fight. So. All right, and lastly, I'm assuming everyone in here has tickets, but those who don't, those that are in the area, those that are watching, why should they tune in and watch this third and final fight between you two tomorrow night? Even though my Broncos lost in the playoffs, we're still, this is going to be the real Super Bowl right now. Okay. Why is tomorrow night going to be the best fight of the three and why is Fernando Rios going to come out victorious? Well, you know, I've been preparing myself very well. I may wait perfectly fine and not struggling this time. And I'm ready. Not only that, but I have my, I want to thank the 805 people that came out. Thanks for the support. Love you guys. Also, my 620 guys from Kansas, my hometown. Thank you guys for coming out. Love you guys. Also, uh, I'd like to thank uh, Denver and Greeley people out there that came out. Thank you guys and much love for the hospitality and thanks for welcoming us to your town. We appreciate it and uh, just don't miss this fight. It's going to be one hell of a fight. You get the Super Bowl here. You know, it's going to be here. So right. we let's don't miss this fight. Let's get ready. All right. Thank you guys so much for your time. That's it. That's a wrap. Right? <laughs>